Let's go get wet. <laughs> Beautiful. It's amazing. Good morning. It's me, Abby. Hello, and I'm Eric, and we're here in Bo Ao, Hainan. So we came out here early in the morning for the beautiful sunrise, and we're also in Bo Ao for the Bo Ao Forum for Asia. Yes, that Bo Ao Forum for Asia has once again put Hainan in the spotlight. And Hainan, the southernmost island province in China, is uh, actually one of the most visited tourist destinations in China. And it's also home to the world's first high-speed rail loop around an entire island. So I decided to take a challenge to travel around the island via the high-speed railway uh, in one day. And I invited Eric to do it with me. Thank you, Thank for the you invite. so much for joining. Thank you. So do you think we can do it all in a day, the whole island? Yeah, it's definitely. pretty big. I got a plan. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so now we're here on the east coast and we're going to go north to the high coast. Eat some breakfast there. Yeah, and also check out the Chilo Old Street. Okay. And then we go west uh, to Danzhou City, the third largest city in China. And we're gonna go do some salt farming. Salt farming. And then from west, we go to the south. This is the most dazzling city in Hainan Island. And in Sanya, I really would like to swim with the fishes. Now we can go snorkeling. Oh, perfect. And see the sunset there and end our trip there. Sounds like a great day. Perfect plan. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. We have just arrived at the Wanchuan River to do some rafting. This is the third longest river on Hainan. It's also known as the Amazon of China and local people call it Mother River because it nourishes all the rainforests along the riverside. This is our boat, banana boat. <laughs> <laughs> Double banana boat. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Let's do it. So beautiful out here. This one quite fun. The water is pretty rapid here. Ooh. So much wildlife. Butterflies, spiders, birds, snakes. You like the wild, right? I do. This is probably going to be the number one thing we do. There's snakes. Hey, that's not a snake. Captain told us there are snakes here, and they swim in the river. One time, they saw two cobras, right, lying yeah. on a tree. Is there a hole? Oh, 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 oh. It sounds like there's a waterfall. There are actually stairs there. Yeah, let's go. go. Let's go look at this waterfall. Much better. Hainan's very hot, you know? So we just finished rafting and we're on our way back and we saw this Miao village. So we came in to take a look and it turns out that today is their biggest traditional festival in the year. It's called San Yue San, March the 3rd in the lunar calendar. So they have different variety of uh, activities from yesterday to tomorrow and right now they have an embroidery competition going on right here. Today是我们传宗过少数民族的传统节日 
我加美吗？要试一下吧。好，好吧。来 ，You wanna try？ 来，可以。我真的不会。反过来，反过来，一再下，交叉。对对,對，是 upper right。You got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, let's check it out. Okay, you have. Wow. Wow. This is not wrong. Not wrong. Okay. One hour to do that pattern. The kids or everybody. Everybody. So it takes about an hour to complete this really intricate and beautiful embroidery, but we don't have that kind of time, do we? No, no, we have a challenge to complete. Yeah. So. We gotta head to a train station to go to Haikou. So yeah, let's go. We're going to take the first high-speed rail loop in the world. And we're going to do it all in one day, so let's go. There's so much to do in Hainan. We we'll only have one day, unfortunately. Now we are on the east ring of this high-speed loop railway heading to Haikou, the capital city of Hainan province. Today we're going to go around the whole island. It yeah. takes just about five hours to go around the whole loop. And only about thirty-four dollars, so pretty, pretty cheap. Yeah. yeah. So we are going to have breakfast, uh, Lao Ba Cha, Old Father's Tea in Haikou, and also we'll check out the uh, ancient Old Street, Chilo Old Street. I really love all these old alleyways in Haikou. Yeah, look, it's so narrow. Like you can touch the other house from there. That store over here. Be careful on this road. There's so many scooters. Scooters everywhere. Yifu Lao Ba Cha. Ah. Dian Yifu Cha. Coffee is this side? Ah, this side. It's a Hainan Zhongde. Seems like a really good deal, really cheap. Yeah. Look at how much sugar they put on that. Wow. Cheers. It's really good. Yeah. Really, really good. So we just ordered a little bit of everything because we want to try everything out. I can see why they call this Lao Ba Cha. Lao Ba Cha, old father's tea. Yeah. Because old father, the parents, old people will spend this a lazy afternoon here in the store and have this laid back Every day, lifestyle. retired yeah. life, right? Yeah, retired life. How do you like it? Uh, I really enjoyed it, actually. Um, but even more than the food, what I like is just like the whole environment. I really feel like there's a lot of history and stories to be told. And the atmosphere. In this shop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm full. Quite full. I'm full too. Let's go to the next spot. Let's do it. Also, this is the most impressive arcade architecture in Haikou, the Chilo Old Street District. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Like just looking at it, it reminds me so much of like Singapore or uh -huh. Malaysia, um, just those old colonial areas. Yeah, like countries. the architecture style, mm -hmm. uh, fusion of Asian and European or Southeast Asian style. I think that's because you know Hainan has always been an important place for international trade and communication, so it has always benefited a lot from these uh, immigration culture. Mm -hmm. Really interesting architectural uh -huh. influence. And actually these buildings can date back to Song Dynasty, which is about a thousand years ago. These buildings? Yeah. So sesame, peanut, and sugar. sugar. 您做这个做了多少年了？五十多年了。五十多年 ，more than fifty years. And you how old are you? 我九十九，我一百岁了。九十九岁。Ninety nine years old. I don't believe you. You look so young. <laughs> ah, this is the first time I've seen him. I hope when I'm ninety nine, I look as good as him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
This is interesting. The abacus <laughs> or the, the lawa. It's the old bank, central bank, high coal branch. Oh yeah, from yeah, 1928. Yeah. yeah, 1928. So I think this guy is the banker. He and works this, in the bank. What's this foreigner doing with all the money? <laughs> um, depositing cash or gold. Or gold? Or gold. Big briefcase full of gold? Oh. <laughs> it's too heavy. It's amazing. Abandoned buildings with trees growing from inside. I think this hasn't been renovated. Definitely hasn't been renovated. Like from the same time yeah. with those old buildings. Yeah. I wish we could go inside. Time to go to the train station. <laughs> We already traveled from the east coast to the north end and we are heading to west. Yeah, so I, I had a blast in Haiko. It was so much fun and my belly is so full from the Lao Bai Cha, uh -huh. but I'm ready to keep going. I'm looking forward to this salt farm. It's 1200 years old. I want to see what uh, the earliest way to make salt is. So we go from old architecture to, to even old older. Yeah, yeah, even older. 1200 years old to 1200 years yeah. old. Danzhou city. Oh, yep. Danzhou, the third largest city on Hainan Island. Beautiful here. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So we came here to Danzhou city because of this ancient salt farm. It is more than 1200 years old. This is the earliest way to make salt. The legend has it that a group of workers who extracted salt from the sea came to Danzhou 1200 years ago and they discovered a new method here to make salt. Yeah, so they just uh, wait for the tide to come in and then they have like a maybe about an inch of seawater here on the salt tanks uh -huh. uh, and they let the really hot sun here in Hainan evaporate the water and then they have just a 25 kilograms of salt. Yeah, 25 kilograms salt in just one salt tank here and per day. How many are there? There are more than 7,000 salt tanks here in the salt farm. The whole area is about more than 50 hectares. So think about total. how much salt that would be. Yeah. So they say just one salt tank here can produce enough salt for a family of three to for half a year. Salt's a little too <laughs> So this is how they make salt. Like to use this little board here. Have you tried chow bing fried ice? Fried ice? I have not. They do it exactly the same way, like this. I've yeah. never heard of fried ice, so I'm really excited to try that. Uh, we can try it in the night market in Sanya tonight. Well, we better get going then, because uh, it's getting late. Yeah, let's late. head to the uh, drink station. Oh, you. Our last stop for today. Tropical vibes. Ah, uh, Sanya. We made it. Sun, sand, and sea. Let's go get wet. Oh, it's beautiful out here. That was so fun. That was great. You seen the fish? Yeah, I saw a, I saw a big crab. I didn't see the crab, but I saw a lot of really beautiful, colorful coral. There are a lot of corals and really a really big crab like this big. A beautiful, the longest day. The longest day, but it was worth it. We went everywhere and now I'm ready for dinner. So. And the fried ice. Fried ice. Let's go. Go to the night market. Well, I don't know about you, Abby, but after just a jam-packed day here in Hainan, I'm so ready to eat. Me too. I'm starving. So uh, let's go find something to eat. 
Let's do That's it. That's probably the busiest street in Sanya, the food street, the night market. They have everything here. Let's go check out. What do you think they have in there? They have seafood, they have fruits, mango durian, and what do you want to eat? I want fried ice because you keep fried telling rice. me about it. <laughs> let's go check. Right, let's go. So I'm most excited to try this Chinese fried ice because I've never had that before. We're going to find out. Yeah, it's Yeah, fried ice. That's really good. Very good. Oh, we did so much. How did you feel about it? Uh, I feel like it was wonderful, just a great experience. Um, I feel like Hainan is such a diverse place, I had no idea. So we saw the culture this morning in Haikou, and then we saw the history in Danzhou and the salt farm. What was your most impressive part? Um, so everything was really impressive because it seems like Haiko or Hainan, sorry, is developing so quickly, so rapidly. Um, we saw the, the old stuff, like you said, the architecture in Haiko. But then even when we went to Danjo, we saw like the man-made island where they're building just a lot of really amazing buildings there. Uh, and then just the, the high-speed rail, which is just like travel the whole island it's in so one day. Convenient. So convenient. Yeah, that it connects nearly all the major cities and regions, places in Hainan Island. So people who travel here to Hainan Island can very easily to tour around the cities the, uh, and the island. Yeah. Much guys for watching our epic long journey yeah. circling around Hainan Island. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below with what crazy adventure challenges you would like us to do next. Yeah. And hit that subscribe button so that we can keep on going on more adventures together. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye.